but I did write this. You are always aligned whether you see it or not. Taking a step back is great and you'll never not be on track to your goals. You're always guided in the right path and the way that the universe will always be on your side. Enjoy the process and enjoying the journey will make things feel light and your life feel free and just overall detached. Feeling light starts from within and tapping into these parts of yourself to understand this is the practice of being in tune with your life and your intuition and so much more. Don't you feel at peace with your roots and your childhood in your future because you already know all of these things you just need to make it known and bring it forward baby girl you are always guided and you are so lucky and i love you so much Hi guys welcome back to another episode the past few weeks was a lot of traveling for myself i went to la and then right after la i went straight to toronto for my brother's birthday and then i just got back about three days ago and for the past three days I turned off my phone and literally slept. I didn't do anything. I didn't want to talk to anyone. Today, I wanted to talk about how things are always working in your favor and that you are always aligned. I feel like a lot of us, myself included, I always doubt the process or I remind myself that it's such a struggle living the day-to-day -day life with questions unanswered and wondering why life is a certain way or how it can be improved or how you can change or make better decisions and even though i'm always constantly reflecting on my past looking at the things that i've done in the past to make sure i'm on the right track so much better if a genie just popped out of a bottle was like yes you're in the right track or like yes this is the way to go this is the door to open this is the door to close right we have mentors we have environments and we have people to look up to but at the same time we are also living our own life and we need to make our own decisions as a mom as a sister as a daughter as a best friend as a boss as an employee like there's just so many hats that we wear i just assume that's all women listening to this <laughs> if you are a guy hi life is just ongoing and it's always moving and let me explain this concept a little bit more because it's quite confusing especially if you go through life and you flow through life just letting things happen to you and then you just fixing them as they come along life is just another stimulation in a game right like a lot of things happen to us that we cannot change and are out of our control but it's how do we react and who are we behind closed doors or that person that we can be the best and make the right decision with all of the resources that we have and i feel like this is honestly really hard like this is something that i struggle with myself for the past few years and as i age and get older and into my later 20s you would think that it gets easier but sometimes it's just really confusing when we are in a sad spot and in a situation and myself included i am currently in a situation where i feel like i don't know what to do and i don't know what decision i can make in order to increase my overall life goal for once it's just a little bit confusing because you have all of the answers and the resources right there but you still don't know what is the right answer because any answer is the right answer i think when you tap back into your feminine and divine timing and self actually everything that we kind of doubted has always worked out in our favor. This is why it's so important to really tap into your self-awareness and know that you really are truly always aligned. We go our day-to-day -day life, we go to work, we see our bosses or employees, or we go to our office, we see our friends and family, and it's just like so heavy sometimes knowing that there are things that you need to fix in your life or decisions that you need to make in order for you to just live a better life with no stress. And we always want to mitigate our risk, make our stress just a little bit less. How can this be better like what can i do right now and it obviously is being logical one side but another side is just understanding you know what maybe this is the place and time that i need to be at right now and maybe as of right absolutely at this moment i don't have the answers and that is so okay why does society have to pressure us to have the answers for everything no mom i don't have the answer for this and when my mom asked me what's going on with this what's going on with this part of my life like i'm just like i don't know and i currently just don't want to know you know what being delusional or being in a place in your life where you just have no idea what's going on for that certain amount or that certain thing just feels a lot better but i did write this you are always aligned whether you see it or not taking a step back is great 
and you'll never not be on track to your goals. You're always guided in the right path and the way that the universe will always be on your side. Enjoy the process and enjoying the journey will make things feel light and your life feel free and just overall detached. Feeling light starts from within and tapping into these parts of yourself to understand this is the practice of being in tune with your life and your intuition and so much more. Don't you feel at peace with your roots and your childhood in your future? Because you already know all of these things. You just need to make it known and bring it forward. Baby girl, you are always guided and you are so lucky and I love you so much. Your life constantly gets so clear as you live and romanticize the small things every day. And you are truly so divinely guided that you should not question whether or not things are happening to you because they are happening for you. Things are always working out in our favor and we are always aligned. And I want you to know that as you go out and go on with your day day, I know things might get hard. I know maybe you woke up this morning on the wrong side of the bed or the Pilates class was full or that boy didn't text you back or your relationship is not going the way that you want it or your friend is being rude or you got ghosted or your family member doesn't appreciate you or just so much more like your work isn't going the right way, your bank account isn't where it's one of and it's because you know that you deserve to be better and to live a better life and there's nothing wrong with that but just know as you go on every day and you choose to be that best version of yourself and to chase that one percent version of yourself because you know that you're capable of doing so just know that everything is working out in your favor and you are always aligned your happiness is more important than anything else in the world and understanding what makes you happy because what makes somebody else happy and how they portray their happiness could be so different to you. I used to chase that mirror a lot until I would get it and realize that wasn't even what I wanted in the first place. And maybe that's a lesson in itself, but realizing that you don't have to obtain a million things or be the millionth person to reach the level of happiness that you want to reach. It's going to take a level of self-awareness to really truly understand that sentence. I used to pity myself a lot because I'm like, oh my god, why do I have so many fucking problems? And compared to somebody else who doesn't have as many nearly problems as me, life is just life and you're gonna be thrown things that are unfair and that are out of your control. What can you make and do to turn it around and make it in your control? Know that everybody you see online, you may think that they just woke up one day and decided that, oh, I'm gonna live this beautiful life and be this beautiful, strong person. Like, no, they fought every single day of many, many years of losses and challenges for them to continuously fight and to jump on the other side and know that they need to be stronger than their failures and their lessons. And that is also speaking from experience. I feel as even myself just going through so much with the family and past relationships and friendships that I could have easily just given up on life and no longer wanted to participate in any type of business, friendship, family, relationship, because people just showed me that they are a shitty person. It's really easy to lose hope in people when you're like that. And it's really easy to become even more and more jaded in your life as you grow and go along in your journey. But knowing that waking up every single day, you choose yourself and you will choose to fight to be the person that you can be to be positive and to actually focus on yourself. Feel liberated and know that you can only control and do everything that you can for yourself. So when things are going wrong because they will and sadly many times they will over and over again you just have to work on your muscle to know that it will get better but it only gets better through you not through time it only gets better if you know how to face it and how to accept those challenges and wake up and know that you are going to be that person today to actually change it and to choose a better path or to become that better person then that's how it gets better when you get to that level you'll understand that the universe is always aligning you to the best that it can be even though in the moment it doesn't seem that way and i know it's so fucking hard don't get me wrong this is something that is really really hard for me as well because i love to control and me feeling like i can't control certain aspects and just letting it play out and letting the universe show me for what it is is because you have to trust your intuition you just have to trust in the universe and just physically and emotionally let these things go and it's definitely not an easy process it's very hard but the practices of letting go and letting things be and as is 
really also comes for you tapping into your feminine self because when you are strong you know that you are not attached to anything or anyone and you came into this world alone so you will die alone as well you don't get buried with anybody i know that sounds harsh and it's a very difficult reality to understand we live and thrive in this world and journey off of love and connection but just remember that the most important love and connection is actually the one that you have with yourself and you can never ever have a better connection than you do with yourself with somebody else it will just never happen you have to strengthen your love and your relationship with your own self in order to actually fulfill or have somebody else handle extra needs or bonuses to you so just know that things are always working out in your favor and you are always lying. I love you guys so much. I just want you guys to know that and go on with your day-to-day -day life that things are always working out in your favor and there is nothing better than this moment than right now. So keep working on yourself, keep building your life, keep choosing yourself and if anybody ever oversteps your boundaries, just tell them to simply fuck off. <laughs> We're in an era of working on ourselves and building our life and that will never ever stop. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to check out my free course on how to become the best version of yourself. It is all free. Also have e-commerce academy 2.0 coming out in 2024. If you guys have ever wanted to build your own online business and are so tired of just working and building someone else's dream and know that it's time to build your own, even if it's gonna take a little bit longer, make sure you check out the link with all of the details of what the course curriculum is gonna be like i changed it like five times but i think this is gonna be the final one i'm so excited for it to launch a 2.0 version and enter your details in for your wait list because i'm only going to be accepting a certain amount of people when i open for enrollment for the new year aside from that make sure you guys are following me on socials because i post on tiktok and instagram every single day and please rate this or thumbs up this five out of five because it would just show me that i can continue making this type of content for you i love you guys so much i will see you guys in the next episode and video bye